1927, the world's greatest scientists assembled in Belgium to thrash out some of the most fundamental problems in physics. 29 showed up, 17 of whom would become Nobel Prize winners, but one of their number could trump them all. Someone who'd bagged two Nobel Prizes in two different sciences. In a man's world, a woman had broken through. Madame Marie Curie. This is the story of Marie Curie's life. The adventures of a woman who refused to conform to the social mores of her time. A woman who could pop in on presidents and holidayed with Einstein. Who once trod the boards on Broadway. Ran mobile X-ray units at the front as the French battled the Hun. Who even had duels fought over her. And wonderfully, for such a fiercely private woman, we've been left a unique view of her inner struggles in life and love. Because in the decades that followed her death, her family released her most intimate letters. I'm impatient to see you, much more than I am uneasy about the difficulties to come. It will be good to hear your voice again and see your dear eyes. Until Saturday, my darling, I will not stop thinking of you. The letters reveal the real Marie, a woman full of passion, an obsessive genius whose life was beset by tragedy and scandal. In every great life, there's a moment that comes to define you. A moment of crisis that forces you to dig deep and establish who you truly are. For Marie Curie, that moment came in the autumn of 1911, some five years after the tragic death of her husband, Pierre Curie. She was at the world's first international meeting of physicists and chemists an historic invitation-only event, which would become known as the Solvay Conference. And she was happy. Perhaps because she had just received a telegram confirming she had won a second Nobel Prize. <laughs> 